Bob. You just getting home now? So, uh, how was the big date? about it. We just did. year old single malt. I'm a 19 year old single girl. I take it things didn't go well with, uh, uh... You don't even know his name. You never told me his name. Oh, yes, I did. Oh, wait, I totally didn't. How'd it go? I may or may not have beaten him up a little bit. So not good then. Not good then. I'm sure you had your reasons. What, did you get grabby with you or something? Well, yeah, not till the end. So, you're gonna tell me about, uh, what was his name? Nunzio. Nunzio? You went out with a Nunzio? Yeah. Why? Because a nunzio asked. So what happened between you and this nunzio? Well, first off, he picks me up, doesn't even hold open the door. Rookie mistake, but what do you expect from a guy who brings you on a day date? You know, I thought he worked at night, so me You know what? Never mind. Lesson learned. So I get into the car, and he has the music so loud, I don't even know what kind of music it's supposed to be. Did you ask him to turn it down? He couldn't hear me. Uh, the... I, I get it, I get it. Did, did he try to start a conversation with you? If he did, I couldn't hear him. So we get there. Where did he take you? Some place called Bennigan's. There's still Bennigan's open in the world? So we go inside. Again, he doesn't hold open the door for me. I'm sorry, I'm still stuck on this whole thing. You're sure it was Bennigan's? Describe it to me. Like a TGI Friday's without the oxygen. It's fucking Bennigan's, all right. No, I'm sorry, go on. So he slips the hostess a bill to get us a table. At Bennigan's? Why are you harping on Bennigan's? Am I supposed to know what the shit that is? Ah, eh, you're young. Yeah, for now. So we sit down. And he starts telling me how much he loves the food here and to order whatever I want and blah, blah, blah. So the waitress comes over and I decide I need a freaking drink. So I order a McAllen. And he just looks at me, eyes all wide. Wait a second, hold on, hold on. How the hell did you get served? How do I know how to feel strip a cold AR-15 blindfolded? I can do things, Pop. Good point. Go on. Anyway, to continue. So I order a steak for dinner. Not even top selection. No porterhouse or filet, just your middle of the road steak. And he's all like, oh geez, let me check my wallet, babe. Well, to be fair, you're dating a nunzio. You should have been open to this. Look. I'm not the kind of girl that expects to be pampered, or for a guy to take care of me. But I expect the common fucking courtesy to bring enough money to pay for the dinner you invited me to. Am I wrong? No. Am I wrong? No. Am I wrong? Preach it, sister! Excuse me? I just had an idea. So I guess I should just stop talking. No, no, no. You keep talking. You're my muse. Oh no, you are not writing a song about this. Oh come on, you gotta admit it's got an element of funny to it. Maybe, if you're not the one it's happening to. 
Look, you, you're sitting here telling me your sob story, and the idea just hits me. Check it. If you ever want to see her again, pay attention to me, my friend. Don't be cheap and always be nice. If you want to see her again, heed my advice. Just come up with that? Totally! Because it sucks. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Okay, maybe the song wasn't that bad. I mean, it could help people, couldn't it? That's what I was hoping for. Maybe just leave out the part where I jacked his ass up and left him in the trunk of his car up at the reservation. Oh, like I'm really gonna. Wait a minute. You did all of that just over the dinner? Well, I didn't tell you what happened after. Hold on, that's going in the song. Amazing how after all that he actually expected me to put out. To put out. And he has the tiniest dick I've ever seen. The tiniest dick. What? What? I mean, serious needle dick, the bug fucker territory. You had sex with this asshole? What? No. Well, then you better start explaining before I have a heart attack up in this motherfucker. So after the movie, he takes him back to where I think is his house, but is really that place where you can see the skyline but isn't part of the park? The bottle cap, yeah, I, I know it well. It's a makeout spot. Makeout spot? What are you, Fonzie? People go there to fuck. I know that. I'm trying to be genteel here. What do the Jews have to do with this? What? What? Anyway. Anyway, I know what kind of place this is. So he makes his move, which is less slick than it is second degree battery. Jesus Christ. It's okay, I'm fine. So I reach for his fly, which relaxes him, right? Okay. And I pull it out. Go on. And then I zip it up into his dick, something about Mary style. Holy shit. Learned that one from Aunt Sylvia. No wonder her husband turned states. From then on, it was a lot of screaming, macing, kicking him in the kidneys, punching my knuckles into his eye sockets. Then I hogtied him with his belt, put him in the trunk, and walked back here. Second worst date ever. That's my girl. That's the problem. What's that? I'm your girl. You're a little girl. Apple of my eye, so they say. Then why don't you want me to be happy? Ooh. How did we get here? Why couldn't I be like other girls? You are like other girls. Long hair, pretty clothes, same body parts. How are you different? Okay. Here's a rundown of the contents of my purse when I left the house today. Lipstick, three wads of Kleenex, 400,000 volt stun gun, Altoids, mace, not pepper spray, fucking mace, 23 cents in one dime, two nickels, three pennies, diving knife, cell phone, and the 357 Colt Python. So, you're brighter than most girls. I mean, most girls would have had to look in their purse for that kind of accuracy. Pop, I am not normal, get it? I spend most of my time with you, every day. Is that what this is about? Kind of. Look. You don't have to spend time with me. I, I, I get it. You, you don't have to. No! Not that I don't want to spend time with you, it's that I do. I honestly can't think of anything better to do with my time. The only reason I said yes to the date is because that's what normal girls do. Is that important? 
important to you? Normal? Normal girls have shitty fathers, go on bad dates, and get raped. It's okay to be weird, I guess. But sometimes it just sucks. Night, Dad. Night, Princess. I'm gonna go finish myself off with some gay porn. Yeah! Write a song about that! Gonna finish myself off with some gay porn! Shopping. I know you think you're a cutie, you can't afford my custom booty.